Hello everyone, this is Shubham Kumar Singh here. We are here to discuss the few topics related to computer. Before starting to know what is computer, we need to learn what is machine. A machine is a thing that is designed by the human being in order to make our work easy. Yes, the human being has designed computer in order to make our work easy. Now we need to learn what is computer. A computer is a machine that is designed by the human being in order to make our work easy. Suppose there is a very lengthy calculation that need to be performed by us. Do you think that how much time is required to do if we, if we do the calculations? If we do the calculation, may the lengthy calculation will take according to the need, according to how much that work has given to us. But that particular lengthy calculations can be done within a second. Within a nanosecond, the computer can perform the lengthy calculations. Now, we need to understand how the lengthy calculations can be done. This is the process is called IPO cycle that is input process and output cycle so yes now it's came what is IPO I stands for input P stands for process whereas O stands for output these three things where the computer works that IPO now I'm gonna give an example what is IPO for giving example I have taken this paper suppose I take this paper now I want to take a Xerox of this paper I have taken this paper and I have put inside the printer. I have given inside the printer. Now I have pressed the button. What is the input? The input is the paper. The paper I have given inside the printer in order to take out the output. The, I have given the paper. Now I will take out the paper. Now the printer is processing. I have given already given the input. The printer is processing. Now the output will come. Now what is output now? The Xerox copy which will be coming from the output devices for example that is printer. Now I got the output. The output which is here it is the output. Now we can understand what is input process and output. There are several examples we can take. For example take a washing machine. The cloths you have to keep the cloths inside the washing machine. After giving the cloths just switch on the washing machine it is processing what is the input the clocks what is the process when the washing machine is cleaning the clocks and what is the output you are when the washing machine has cleaned the clocks that is the output the input process and output for example take a cloth which you want to iron so what is the input here the cloth and when you are ironing that is the process and when when you have ironed when your ironing is over that is the processed means your ironing is over, your work is over. So, hope you have understood what is IPO, that is input process and output. Thank you.